I'm Matt McLean, the head coach for Bishop's Men's Basketball. OBDK, fourth year senior. Taylor McDougall here, number zero. And we are in for a treat to kick off the 2024 part of this season. By McDougal on the mark is a Tiernan McDougal. But if you're not focused and you're not detail oriented, you don't stand a f chance. Let's one fly ease. There we go. That we tell you every f***ing day. Fix that sh Go out this half and execute. Period. Robert working in against Laforet, going up, and gets out of the fall. I said he would make it. Um, I'm Matt McLean, the head coach for Bishop's Men's Basketball. Uh, my second season as head coach. Yeah, so I, I had a five five year career here at uh, at Bishops. Um, I was a captain of captain of the team from 20, 2013 to twenty fifteen, and uh, won a championship in our our last year in twenty fifteen against McGill. Um, so now that um, I've had an opportunity um, to be an assistant coach here for for a number of years, and uh, got the head coaching job um, at the beginning of last season, so this is our, our second season uh, building the program. I think, like in you know, our, my experiences and the way I played as a as a player is, um, you know, as a, a, a tough tough rebounder that that um, was took like having a role as a really important thing, um, and that's something I want our team to do too is to be tough and physical and and rebound the basketball. Um, so that's what we're looking to bring to the program. I think the I think the the culture at, at Bishops is it's a it's a true community. And it's a place where there's there's a ton of support, and you know, being in a place where all all eyes are on you, um, there is a little bit of that extra pressure to to perform. Um, you know, when you're at home in the swamp, um, and you know, you guys got to rise to the to the occasion and be ready to perform when it's when it's game day. Yeah, last season uh, finished tough. Um, we had a, a you know a great a great late push to to bring ourselves to the to the finals. Um, we had to win a lot of close games in the second semester and ultimately fell short to UCAM in the, in the finals. Um, so I think that, that provided fuel for our guys for, for the offseason. So the guys came in, um, you know, in, in great shape, uh, ready, to, ready to play, ready to prove that, that they belonged at the top of the RCQ. Um, and we have another opportunity to do that this year. Swamp with El Tapas. Yes. Good night. One is no chess. One is no chess. Ah, sleepy. Sleepy. I'm in transition. He's he's a lead. So when he's bringing the ball in transition, we have to look to to be in the gaps, look to stunt. And um, if he doesn't look to go up, we have to we have to go with high hands. He's every single time. In transition, he'll look to get to an in and out and get to his right hand. So we have to force him to get to his left hand and finish like that. In transition, okay, we want to try to avoid these pass aheads. Okay, these guys here, you guys can see my mouse? Yeah. Okay. These guys here are super key. So if this guy is sprinting back and he's showing a body here at the three point line, this guy's maybe on the elbow or the nail, this penetration doesn't happen. Okay, so he's really looking to get downhill with his right hand in transition. If this guy is sprinting back and he's he's walling up, now we have our transition under control and we can play half court defense. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to you live from the lovely city of Quebec for the first RSEQ matchup of 2024. This one sees Laval playing host to the Bishop Gators. Both teams right around the middle part of the standings at the moment. Bishop's in third place with a record of four and three. Laval sitting at two and five. But the big challenge for Bishops tonight can they get a big win on the road without two of their starters and leading scorers in Josh Kulamala and Charles Robert? game he was urging us to give him the ball he said that he was ready to shoot and the numbers don't lie it's Navarro he'll try one he's got it David Navarro on the board with the three he'll attack the middle kick out Navarro from the corner splash Navarro's got another one Navarro he's feeling it and sticks it David Navarro his third of the quarter and a Hot start to the second quarter for Bishops as they knock down a few triples. You should, you should have five offensive rebounds by the end of the game because I don't think anybody's hitting you. Okay, you got to go and clean that up. Okay? And our outlet has to get to that outlet spot because we're shooting, we shot 25 threes. Good. But where are those rebounds going? They're going to be long rebounds, out where if you get to the outlet spot, you can go and track, track that basketball in. But we need to understand that. Mm -hmm. We've had some good ones where we've, we've got a little punch triple advantages, and we're getting into the, to the team for the defense. 
Okay, shooters are there. Shoot and, and crash. Okay, we're playing, we're done, we're done the chase. So there's, there's no pressure on your shooters. If you're opening, shoot it. Okay, if it's a good, if it's a good shot for you, and we'll clean, we'll clean that up on the, on the other side. Okay, so there's, it'll be the battle of the courts. It's okay. 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 Okay.
and know what they're doing 10 seconds ahead, and you guys, it's like, it's like a surprise when you get hit by a screen. And we'll see in our film, but like, baby, you, got, you guys do not, you guys do not defend. You guys do not move your feet. See what that is? Okay, so we, we are, we are, we are where we are, we are what we are. Watch, watch film, they watch film. Watch film on your own, watch film together, understand, learn. Eight is on three, five, one, six. One, two, three, eight, eight, four, five, six, six seven. Eight. Uh, so this is OBDK, fourth year senior guard. Um, I'm also studying sports studies. I'm from Montreal, and my previous school is Champlain St. Lambert. The game against Laval, I think what we did a good job of amongst ourselves is communicating, even though it's a loud gym and it's really noisy. There's a lot of distractions. You know, at that gym, there's the announcer, there's the crowd. It's hard to hear. But we did a good job of trying to communicate to solve problems and put ourselves in a position to win. CJ stepped up big time that game. Um, defensively, he had the task of guarding Sydney, the reigning MVP. And offensively, he had a big game as well. If I'm not mistaken, he had over 20-something points. So those were two great standout performances from guys that we need to win. Um, now, what went bad is... Obviously, early in the game, we made a few mistakes. Even though we're communicating some communication errors, and then that led to down the stretch, it still being a close game. And then we had some poor execution mixed with a bit of bad decisions and maybe not the most favorable shots, which ultimately led to us losing. Outside of those two, um, the guards, we needed to shoot better. Me, especially me, for example, um, in that game, I shot very poorly, had high volume and low output. And then in terms of the bigs, um, we had our two centers out, Corey and Charles, which was a bit troubling down the stretch. They had, they obviously they had an advantage inside, so that's some areas of concern. When our bigs aren't playing, how are we going to adjust and how are we going to still come out with the win? before when it was sorry bef even before the pandemic um bishops beat you camp in this gym We've been drilling in all those times in practice thornhill over to engom demos den just throws it off for the championship yeah! so obviously that left poor taste in you camp players mouth a lot of the players that are still playing were on that team so they have something against bishops obviously and then in addition to that, they beat us in the finals last year. So it's like in recent memory, we're one and one in the finals. So that's a bit, I believe that's where the rivalry came from. Now they're on top of beating us last year, they're three and oh, so the last four games were, they're undefeated against us. So obviously we need to step up. We need to come ready for blood because as I said before, there's a rivalry thing that's going on. And during the season, the games matter, but not as much as come playoff time. So we need to be ready when that time comes. I cherish the moment it's high stakes. I used to spend time on my time pay. The way speaker thumping and vibrate. She jump in my bones like a gyre. Sit before a crib, it's a five place. I turn off my phone for like five days. I show it, I know it's my time, lady. Jump started this shit from a line, baby. Whatever we doing, it's live, ain't it? The envy defending, they pride, ain't it? You see how they feel it in my face. I'm fluid as fire with my team.
Yo, but yo, real shit, real shit. Let's bring out the energy, yo. It's the first home game of the season. There's a big team. We all know what we have to bring out and what type of energy we got to come out with. All right, from the drop. Let's go, baby. Come on, Obi. Yeah. It is on three, probably on six. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 And we gotta win the, the turnover battle. Okay? If, if we're getting more possession than them, and we're sprinting back in transition, okay, we're we're winning. It's a, it's as simple as that. All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, go, baby. Let's go, go get us on three. Family on six. One, two, three. Get yeah. One, five, six. Family. So after a narrow loss in Laval last week, the Bishop Gators are back at home as they host the first of a back-to-back. -back in a highly anticipated matchup against the number one seed you can. So some good news out of the Bishop's camp. Charles Robert and Josh Kumala are active and in tonight's lineup. And their presence will be felt as they take on the defending RCQ champs. But the big question for tonight, can the Bishop Gators make a statement and win a big one at home? Or will your camp's dominant streak continue? Starting at guard. 
it put us in a worse position to host a home game come playoff time. And obviously we're a better team at home, so now it's just one one more obstacle we have to face.